Welcome back to the Sweet Talks podcast. Before we start anything, we all want to thank you guys for tuning in for another year of Sweet Talks. Mm -hmm. Another year. This is is like a recap episode. We're going to go through all your guys' comments, concerns, suggestions, suggestions, criticism, whatever you guys said in the past year. We wrote down we a read bunch every of stuff. Comment. There's a lot of stuff we're going to go through and we're going to talk about. Also, too, I feel like we should say this in the beginning because we usually say it in the end. Um, the recommendation that you wanted to do for like. Oh, yeah. Oh, just yeah. just from going. This is like 20 pages worth of shit suggestions. Like he said that. Um, damn, my bad. From the past year. And so what I think would be cool is if. From now on, if you guys were to drop, maybe it's a scenario you're going through or just some advice that you need, but we're going to pick five of those questions and scenarios and we want to answer them in maybe the next episode or the episode after that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we want to start getting more interactive with our comments and stuff because looking at all these, it's like it's pretty fucking crazy. We kind of missed a lot of shit. Yeah, we did miss a lot. We missed a lot of shit, but we're here to cover it and maybe if this podcast goes long enough, we can continue it. Mm -hmm. the next one or some shit if you guys have concerns again like he said drop it down below and we're gonna get to it Mm -hmm. but also too i just want to um add to that like if you see a question that you like that somebody put like make sure to like that shit up and comment so it gets to like the top and then oh yeah that's true and then the ones that are the five most that are like liked or have like the most interactions and people are like yo they need to do this question is the one that we will do yeah Yeah, because we love having guests on stuff Mm -hmm. and like that's super cool but we also like hearing a lot about like what you guys are going through and just questions that you might have we're we're really down for that yep we're down for it shout out to you guys but uh let's get this thing started so it is (laughs) it's december december it's the end of the year right Uh, what No, no no go it's december it's the end of the year a lot of shit has happened this year do you guys feel like you guys have grown like at all for the better, for the worse, like, and anything like that? Yeah. Uh, I'll be the first to answer this. I feel, yeah, I feel, and I feel like this could be kind of said for all of us f- since January 1st to now, I feel like a lot more motivated. Yeah, for sure. For and sure. I feel like a fucking huge reason for that is because I, I feel kind of like time is running out. Yeah. Do you guys ever feel like that? Especially you. You're old. Uh, Yeah, I know. (laughs) 23 already. 23. Yeah. Damn. Logan's about to be 23 too. I know, but I'm 22 still, so chill out. (laughs) I got time. Yeah, you guys both got some time on you. You got time. You got extra time. You got extra, extra time. (laughs) But the the reason why I feel like that is because, you know, in the beginning of the year, we weren't really dropping that much. I I think it was kind of like we were kind of starting to to you know try doing it yeah but now i feel like no like like we need to fucking go crazy on the podcast on the channel on everything it's definitely a lot it's a lot um easier said than done Mm -hmm. but being 22 23 now is way different from being 18 19 years old yeah and 21 yeah yeah Mm -hmm. you have so much more responsibility and like you feel like fuck you're closer to 30 20 oh hell yeah chill 25 dog no i feel like 30 feel next 30. milestone for me is 25 <laughs> no uh, we're basically i feel like 30 yeah, i don't give a middle. fuck keep me in my 20s for a long because because if you're 25 you could still like you know we could still fucking fuck around and do youtube and stuff but if we're 30 and we're getting fucked up and that's like we're still at like 300,000 subs <laughs> like if, yeah. we're, if we're 30 it's kind of like yo yeah it's like what are you doing like yeah, but you if you're 25 know. and we're at like you know four or 500k subs it's like yo at least we're not 30 yeah. So it was actually a comment from Naomi Lopez. Not me rewatching all of the OG podcasts. These boys have definitely grown right in front of our eyes. After binge watching all of your new podcast slash content and comparing it to your OG. Wow. Wow, guys. Super proud of y'all. Your supporters definitely witness your milestones. Keep it up. Hey, thank, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. What about? What do you think? Yeah. Oh, my bad. No, I was just saying, like, do any of you guys have to, like, add to that or like if you guys feel like you guys have changed since this year frank you want to go next i feel like it just went up and down but i went up towards the end oh so you feel like this like year was kind of like a roller coaster uh-huh. for you but now you're starting to finally go up mm-hmm. that's yeah. good i think for me that this year was definitely about learning 
and like knowing where I'm at and knowing what I got to do to get to the next level for sure. Cause it was like a bunch of like just growing, obviously doing what I got to do, but then also like just seeing like, okay, do I want to do this every day or can I do something else or like kind of like Frank said, up and down for me as well. What about you, Joy? Um, yeah, I think, I think it was kind of like uh, super unorganized for me in the beginning, and now I'm starting to get um, like more organized. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I guess like more up towards the end. I f- yeah, I f- I feel like that too. I feel like the past like two to three, like the last two to three months of this year have been cool. Yeah, it's like where I'm kind of like okay, like get really getting my shit together. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Like, what month do you guys think like it changed for you guys, or like does it does it feel like that at all? Yeah. Or like what what caused that? Fuck. What do you think caused that? For me, I think November. November. <sighs> so that's pretty. I, I think that's before. Pretty, I I don't Wait, know. Last November? No, this no. Uh, so I I think I think I'm looking at it as like two different things. As far as like um my health wise and shit like that, I would say probably like February. Cause like I think it was February when I was like fuck like I'm pretty heavy right now I didn't like how I looked and shit so that was when I like you know I started doing like that that diet that was really a fucking unhealthy diet and I <laughs> dude I lost thirty pounds in a month and a half that's like you're only supposed to lose like thirty a- pounds mm-hmm. that's pretty healthy no that's crazy <laughs> that you're, that's like you're aiming like for the hospital you're you're supposed to lose like healthy healthy diet is you're losing a pound of a week or two, two pounds a week and i did that shit in six weeks so like it, it, it fucking was crazy yeah it, savage, and, and also too i want to touch on this because i don't think like um for any like the guy listeners out there one thing they they say is like if you do like crazy diets like that one thing that happens is erectile dysfunction and did that happen to you it happened, what? happened once. you don't get hard get no no hard. no so, so so what happened was you know i was there and it was it was up it was up up and then it started going down and and th- that's when it that's when it gets fucking bad because you start you start thinking about it you're like yo <laughs> this shit better work this shit better work this shit better work so then all i did was i, I watched the movie and it and it went back up and and after that Wait, what you mean you watched the movie well because it was a movie playing well sexy time <laughs> <laughs> what kind of movie make your shit pop back up well no it's just it's just the fact that that, that movie got my mind off of fucking oh, oh worry, you were worrying thinking yeah because yeah. 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 because like like i've 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 looked up i've looked up like you know before i went on the diet like you know what are like the the pros and cons of it and that's what everybody says erectile dysfunction for all the guys <laughs> and i was i was like oh hell no i don't want this shit I was like, i'll be fine though because I'm, I'm like a very high like a very sexual person like super sexual so i was like that shit won't happen to me and it happened and i'm like oh my gosh like oh, what the fuck's gonna go on like, yeah i was so i was panicking <laughs> you got right to this function at this age <laughs> yeah uh, no, i'll tell you what though if hey, you are man. struggling with that ashwagandha man yeah <laughs> I just started taking that shit. Makes your cock bigger. Not that too. I was struggling with it, but it definitely boosted the drive. Makes your <laughs> hard. That wow. shit boosted the drive. Like you know, usually after just scared, after after, you, just after you like, and this is all comes with growing and shit. Because I started taking more vitamins. Yeah. Started carrying more. So then I started taking the ashwagandha and fucking. You know how usually you get it off and it's like ah, I'm done. Yeah. It's, fuck. Sometimes that ganda will get you off and you're like I'm ready to go again. Eh. Yeah, <laughs> but like I, I noticed that in my brain, I was like, "Damn, I feel, I'm ready for uh, again." <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm always ready to go again. Honestly, yeah. Unless uh, I'm tired. You think also, you're always ready too? No, no, no. no. Uh, I'm gonna say for me, it's being more active, like doing, like playing basketball more. For me, that shit, mm-hmm. it fucking made me horny. I think more like horny. Being around the guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. <laughs> nah, but like going, being active, and getting my fucking blood flowing more shit no yeah it makes me like wanna fuck more it, it boosts my adrenaline boosts my testosterone <laughs> want, it makes me wanna fuck the guys <laughs> is, that, is that something you wanna do frank take the gym more serious yeah somewhat do you like being skinny <sighs> it's cool like do you feel like i'm not frank if i'm not skinny 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like I'm still Frankie if I'm, even if I'm not. I feel like I could just get more lean. That's about it. No. Like, have you ever pictured yourself like big no, shit? No. Okay. No. Would you ever want that? <laughs> no. Nah. I wouldn't want myself to be big. But you do want to be big. big. Okay. What big, though? Like, like, That's healthy. Okay, okay like what cut. type of big? Like cut, but like nice, like big. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like me, but like fucking not as fat. Would you ever want to be like that? No. Okay, fuck you. A little more, a little more down. A little more skinny? Yeah. So you do like the skinny? Yeah. But, but you would want to have at least like, you know, some bigger arms, bigger chest. Yeah. But with like a six pack and all that shit. I got a six pack. I know, but I'm saying with that muscle, yeah. with that added muscle. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, the Michi's catch up to you too. Mm-hmm. You're almost on a sick one. You're on a shit. Michi. A I noticed mi- a little, a little bit. Michi you, you do like Michi's. I do. You kind of got me into them. I was drinking them. them like just to edit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told you he that was. One time? He yeah. would wake up. And I would see it next to him while he would fall asleep. No. <laughs> oh come on. It would come be on. on the couch when you would edit and like I accidentally fell asleep. Uh, oh wait. I, I re- oh yeah. I remember right. I was right there. I was like, hey, let me have some <laughs> meat. <laughs> I remember I walked into Join's room and he was editing and he had he had Coke and Henny in a in a glass. <laughs> and and I was like, damn, okay. And then I see the Henny on the floor. I'm like, bro, you have a mini fridge right next to your laptop. Why don't you put it in there? Oh, if I put it in there, I'll feel like an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if it's just sitting there cold, it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's true. You might wow. just want to take a little quick sip. It's like you're saving it for what? So he it's like water. to drink it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to. it's hot. I don't want to be like that. Fuck that. Yeah. I'll go so bad for you. Dude, well, it I, is. I, I it feels know. good. It does feel good. It's yeah, been, I've been drinking more lately, <laughs> I think. I feel like in the middle of the year, you're drinking more. I feel like now you're kind of. You've been saying, I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. I just want to smoke. Julian's birthday, I got fucked That's up. That's one day. Did you get fucked up? Yes. Oh, yeah, you were pretty yeah, he was fucked pretty up. You got pretty fucked early. Yeah. We were all twisted. I, I was down. fucked up early, but then it, it wore off. Yeah, you were fucked up early. I was fucked up early. I was going fast. That's I right. know. I, I, was, I was barely, I barely took my first sip. Logan, can you go to the bank real quick? Yeah. Who was the most fucked yeah. up that day? I don't know. Somebody that threw up in the restroom. Somebody threw up in a restroom. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's we, disgusting. And nobody wants a minute. That. Aim for the I, fucking I, toilet, I, you I piece of shit. It, but I had to clean it up. It, it was a taco it was guy. Gross. No, no, I'm <laughs> that, that fool was taking. We were taking shots with him. It was pastor for sure. Did, that shit was rare. Hey, wait. Did you see? See when Mariachi <laughs> came and he did a um a celebrity shot for the beer pong. Oh yeah, he's homie. And, and he, he made it. He bounced it in. It counted <laughs> as three cups. <laughs> wait, whoa, what? Wait, the, whoa. The, the, the Mariachi guy. This dude must have been like sixty five. He goes and he comes in. And he he's, he like has the violin in one hand, and he's like this. He's like the violin. Yeah, the violin. We, we give him the ball and he goes. And we're like, celebrity shot, celebrity shot. He goes up, fakes, bounces it in. Boom. <laughs> and roll. Oh, that's three cups. That's three that cups. That he took everybody out. He did, and, and, he then, and then he looks at us. He goes, he smiles and he just walks they off. and goes, goes back to playing the fucking violin. <laughs> that's the hardest shit I've ever seen. I've never <laughs> they seen. They love that shit. He started playing the violin again. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the craziest part about it. I was like, what the f- actual fuck? <laughs> This was a, a comment from one of our earlier episodes from Adriana. These podcasts are making me realize how close-minded these guys are. Very <laughs> much toxic masculinity vibes. True. Sure. Do you think <laughs> we still, like, give that off, that type of vibe? Do you think we ever did? <sighs> I, think I, I, did. I think, okay, I think these two, like, more than us. But... I also feel like these two are like more joking about it. I don't know. You guys don't. You guys don't feel like that. I don't. Well, I wouldn't say that all my answers are really like masculine and stand for like toxic masculinity. Well, it. I think that like how girls and like how like kind of like the internet looks at it nowadays. It's like a lot of your guys' responses are toxic masculinity even if they're not mm. like if you go on fucking tiktok I, well, and twitter I you'll see how it is everyone here though everybody i think the only reason we're saying like the answers is because the answers we thought is because that was the way we felt and like those were getting the views for us not only because it was getting us views and we were looking at it as views and shit or whatever 
but it was because that's what we actually think is right and nobody else but us four are talking about it so we're just having a guy's conversation yeah but i also i also feel like it was kind of like over exaggerated a little yeah and there was one thing too we used to call any girl nice cool whatever sometimes we'd call them a bitch yeah. yeah i i still do sometimes and and they <laughs> have not, noticed they have not. noticed that we actually stopped using that term a lot yeah. yeah why is that why do you guys think who wants to go first i still use it <laughs> it's so you not still use it. yeah but it's not so like in, that in your definition like what what is when you say that like what is a bitch i don't mean it like that the reason why i use it is like no, sometimes when I use it, it's like fucking. I don't give a fuck about a female or yeah, it's like, like a guy, female. I feel like a guy could be that too. No. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah. mm-hmm. percent. Yeah, like a guy is acting like a bitch. Yeah, like yeah. These dudes are bitches or some shit. Yeah, or but a like, douchebag. I feel like the only reason we're saying that is because that's like our language that we speak. Like, you know, I've been yeah, I've been saying bitch since I was like fucking a kid. Yeah. But but do you guys think that like you guys have? kind of like lowered your usage on it as far as oh yeah girls that? as you get older yeah oh so you think it's just more like maturing yeah but when i'm with the boys it's like i'm just talking about like you know yeah that's just it is what it is yeah yeah and i, I think like a lot of people um they don't realize that like when we sit down and we talk like this it's like we're all fucking friends and like a lot of the times we kind of forget this is going to be on the internet yeah so it's just like what danny had said it's literally just guys talk yeah so when we're over here doing the podcast like it's literally you guys are are watching how guys speak literally every fucking guy yeah and that's what it was every guy calls a girl a bitch yeah <laughs> like yeah I, I, i'm being i'm being yeah you're clo- yeah, yeah i don't think there's ever been a time where we've been in a group of guys and like yeah that girl's a bitch and yeah like it, hey brother like, yeah, yeah. no one is a bitch, man. I don't do that, yeah. doggy. I'm and a- if anything, it's just like you use it like a bad bitch or some shit. Yeah, yeah. it's it's never even girls call each other bitches. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> never <laughs> it's never in bad connotation or anything. It's always it's always just referring to somebody as a person. Like that's yeah. how we look at it. We're not like that stupid bitch. I mean, we are sometimes, but if we have stupid in front of it. Then you guys already know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about shit. you? Do you feel like you you've kind of like lowered the usage on it? I think so. I think I um I think maybe I used to use it kind of like how uh Frank would just use it like just throw it. Mm-hmm. But now I feel like I use it more like if like she's a bitch then she's a bitch. <laughs> nah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you know I mean. Saying? it. Yeah, like, that's like how I mean. The, it. the actual meaning for it. Now more like asshole. Yeah. Like oh, oh you call a, a guy a bitch. Dude. Oh. Yeah, when he's acting like a bitch. Yeah. Oh, but you won't be like, yeah, like that bitch at the party like she was just she was on a weird one. Like you won't you won't really say it. You could say yeah, it. Yeah, you could say that. On camera. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, I'll you, say yeah, that. Yeah, you can say, say that. You could say that. What do you think they call us? You think they call us bitches too? Assholes. Yeah. That asshole? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, like. Or this for, dick. For or this dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah some dick. dick. Yeah. For like casual talk or just like if they're actually referring to us as like something like, like casual mean. shit? Like right here. That guy. Yeah. Or uh, some asshole. Yeah. Uh, probably some dick. Yeah, some dick. <laughs> That's how that's how we refer to guys too. Yeah, this like, dick. Yeah, this fucking dick at the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or we we'll just say, okay, dick. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I think also too, we just started this podcast. We literally used to tape our phones on the walls back here when we had a white wall. And it was like Logan said, like we all said, it was just boys talk. Whatever we had on our mind at that point, we we're just saying and we we're just doing. But now as we're taking the podcast more serious and we're reaching different audiences, uh, I think the language has to change a little bit also, but we're speaking our mind as well. That's what a podcast is also, about. Yeah, also, too, going back to that, I feel like when it, like, we have done, like, a pretty good job as, as like, when it's just us, we'll, like, you know, we'll talk how we normally do. Yeah. How fucking every guy does. Like, I'm sorry to admit it, fucking every guy talks somewhat like this. But when we have, like, a, a guest where it's, like, either, like, not a friend or, like, maybe somebody that's more professional, have you noticed, like, we don't really, like, be cu- cussing as much? Like, we keep it a lot more professional than we normally do yeah. if we had fucking, like, Nick or Blessive. Yeah. Yeah. Fit. Yeah. Like, when we had the Flat Earther, it was more serious. Yeah, it was yeah. way more serious. We weren't calling Or when we had that one guy here. Yeah. 
Sam, Sam Zia. Sam, Sam, Zia. Zia. Sam Zia. How well, do you guys like those those episodes? They cool. I I love them honestly. I love I love like learning and then I also love just kind of like having interesting conversations. Yeah, I like talking I, to anyone. Yeah, I like talking to anybody. Um, like what they've gone through too is dope. I think talking to older people is really cool too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. You know what they say, right? What? What do they say? <laughs> nah, I just saw this like on an Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was like if you don't have a friend that's over forty when you're twenty five, then you're not like smart or you don't have a good peer or a good circle around you. Some mm. shit like that, which is stupid, but. It's not stupid. Yeah, yeah I kinda, no, I don't think. I kind of see it too. Yeah, I, I, see, yeah I, see. I see it. On the Alex and Fabio episode, there was somebody that was on the verge of quitting because of the story that we told at um and Fabio telling us like just quit your job. Is there ever a like the right time to quit your job? And like when did or maybe like when did you guys know like it was it? I'm fucking done with that. Shit. You guys want me to go? Or who wants to go? Oh, well, just just in any way, I don't know. Oh, you just got guess, multiple hustles going. Yeah, if you have something going for you already that you know will work out, or you really want to put your all into it, mm-hmm. then yeah. you should go for it. Especially if you're young. Like mm-hmm. if if you're young, it's okay. I think it's okay to have not have a backup plan because you can always go back to school, and you can always go get a job at McDonald's or go fucking work at the YMCA. Some shit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Two examples right here, me and him. But, but do you have to have something going? <laughs> yes. Um, yes. I think so, yeah. Either you have to have something going or, like, if you don't have something going but you have a plan but you have money saved up. Like, don't be stupid as fuck with it. Yeah. That's yeah. how I see it. Yeah, and also, if you don't have anything going but you want to pursue something, I would say ah, see how you can handle both at first and mm-hmm. then if you want to put everything all into it save your money up for what you got to do in that time while you either want to blow up or you want to make your own company or some shit yeah yeah i think doing both is fucking important too you gotta test that out yeah yeah because you you could probably do both yeah because in all all in all you could be wanting to make music but let's say you fucking suck (laughs) like and nobody likes you for over two years like (laughs) no no where where are you gonna get money from that's very true you know and their fucking music sucks (laughs) man it fucking sucks yeah Yeah. and they and they quit and they're giving it all to the music but it fucking sucks yeah Yeah. or if even if you want to be a content creator and your shit just doesn't hit and you're not funny or not handsome or cute like yeah I'll never knock somebody for trying super fucking hard at it, though. Yep. No, hell no. Never. Hell nah, no. nah, me too. Because no, that person yeah. is bound to fucking blow up. Like, yeah. the music, the guy that I'm talking about where maybe I think his music is whatever, Um, I think he is trying, actually. I don't know if he's trying that hard, but it's kind of ass, but. I want to. I want you to tell me who you're talking about after. Yeah, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you guys after, but, yeah, I don't know. No, yeah, I I agree with that. Where it's like, if they're fucking putting their all into it, then then I'll I'll respect that. Yeah, and you also have to know what you're getting yourself into mm-hmm. as well. And also too, you gotta kind of at some point realize like, okay, shit's not working out. I don't have any money. Maybe I should still try to do this, but at the same time, work because there's fucking twenty four hours in a day. Wait, so when did you decide to quit Boys and Girls Club? Cause last year, I was the last one to quit. Got fired from YMCA. Got fired from YMCA. Took like two weeks off. Got another job at Boys and Girls Club. Was there for like maybe seven, eight months. Quit. It was because I was at that point. It was COVID last year, 2021. So I worked from November to December and I was working at a school. So I was in the classroom with the kids. And then once the school year ended in June, I stopped. I was like, hey, I'm going to take the summer off. I'm not going to work, and I'm going to go do YouTube with the boys. And then we're kind of slow picking it up, doing videos, not as much. But then once the new school year started, we started posting videos. And then again, and then I was just like, so I stopped. Like, What about you? Same thing? No, I was just, I was tired as fuck of McDonald's. I hated that shit so much. And 
Um, the only reason why I liked working at McDonald's was because when we lived back home by our parents' house, it was like two minutes away from my house. Yeah. yeah so, no drive. Yeah. So if I had work at eight o'clock, I would leave my house at seven fifty nine, and I would get there early. <laughs> so I liked the the that, and then also too. <laughs> I look, he kind of had like an edge over my managers because I was the only guy, I was the only other manager that would work night shifts and morning shifts, the shifts that nobody wanted. But those shifts were perfect for me because we would film during the day. But then when we moved over, over here and I had to move to a closer McDonald's, that was still fucking 20 minutes away. Yeah, I was driving far too. Yeah. I was like, man, this drive fucking sucks. So it would take me like 30 minutes sometimes. I'll and be late to work. Was there day. ever a time where you actually felt like breaking down? At McDonald's? Just like on some real shit where maybe you were just like, bro, like, like I'm crying? about to fucking, yeah. Nah. Nah, not crying, but just being like, I don't want to get the fuck out There's of here. There's a time right? when I fucking felt like beating your guys' ass. What? All of us? Yes, because it was fucking, I think I've, I've already told you guys this story. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Tell it again. I haven't heard, no, no, I haven't heard it. It was, it was I, had, I had to work at 4 in the fucking morning. I had to be up at 3.30. Oh, yeah. And it's <laughs> fucking 2, 2 a.m. And these guys are bumping they they got they get Danny's big ass speaker and they plug it into a microphone and they're just playing like meme sounds and then they'll get into the mic and then we just go <laughs> and I'm I'm a very light sleeper so as soon as I so wake you up heard it. yes I heard it but I didn't want to tell you guys anything cuz I'm like if I tell these guys something they're going to get a kick out of it and they're going to go, <laughs> like, go to sleep so then I remember I was like bro like there's no way I have a fucking eight hour shift. I'm I haven't even slept yet. It was <laughs> what memes were we two thirty? <clears throat> you guys would just be like twenty one. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, oh my gosh! Or you guys would just play like some like random ass song that would be like a song that we were obsessed with at that time. And I remember I was so mad. I was like, I'm a fucking. I was, like I I thought about like just fucking another day staying up until like fucking four or five o'clock in the morning when all you guys had work and just bumping music but i was like i'm not gonna be petty because because then because then that, that would have started something you just wake up in the morning no yeah I, I was i was fucking mad about that i was like and i didn't know if you guys were doing it on purpose like thinking like oh he can't hear or not that's when we would stay up late that's yeah when we stay up late i kind of missed that, that i miss fun. it too i miss it too we want to stay up late <laughs> We don't stay up late anymore. No, no, we don't. I'm starting to catch up to my sleeping schedule. That's good. Wait, what about you, Frank? When did you decide to quit? Or did you get fired? No, I quit. Why? Oh, no. Yeah, I think he quit, but that's where I was going to go with it, too. I did quit. I did quit. But then um, I ended up, I think... um. I just like yeah. You were just like, well, you had a long ass drive. But then I got, I got like, there was a part when when I went back for like a good week to just make some dough. Oh, you remember that? I remember why he quit. We we're gonna take one quick break from this podcast, and we we're gonna have a word from our sponsor, HelloFresh. Yeah, those are our friends at HelloFresh for real. Yeah, we love them. You guys love them, and honestly, it's it's fucking amazing. It's amazing, especially right now, Christmas. <sighs> Hurt my bank account. It did. It did. And I know it hurt y'all motherfuckers' bank account too. That's why you guys should use HelloFresh. It is up to twenty five percent less cheaper than going grocery shopping. On top of that, a lot of people they don't have time. Cooking takes a long time. Going to the grocery store that's like thirty minutes to an hour. Cooking that's another thirty minutes to an hour. HelloFresh it gets delivered to your door. You get to pick the fucking meals that you want. So if you're a picky motherfucker, you could pick whatever. Exactly. Quality and is HelloFresh priority. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days. It's insane. So you know it's fresh. Mm -hmm. The limes are fresh. The limes are fresh. Everything's Tiny fresh. little limes. They give you all the fucking ingredients. I think the only ingredient that they don't give you is salt. Everybody has salt. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I, I, I can't. I, Probably. I feel like they did put salt once. Shit. I'm not even sure. They probably did put salt because knowing them, they just do but crazy they, ass shit like that. Give, yeah, they give you everything you need. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we need some more of that shit. Yeah, because you guys already know the story. Him and Danny got drunk. Danny does not know how to cook. Danny whipped that shit up drunk as fuck, easy. And they say to this day, it was bomb. That it was the best burgers that they've tried. It was really good. I don't, I mean, Shit. Fast too. I actually do believe that because it's HelloFresh and HelloFresh is fucking delicious. I don't I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Yeah, Danny sucks at cooking. But anyways, go to HelloFresh.com slash 18 sweet and use code 18 sweet for 18 free meals. 
plus free shipping. That's fucking good, dude. That's 18 free meals. All your all those college students, man, get off them fucking cup of noodles. That, that's a fucking week long of food for three meals a day. If you guys don't use this code, I'm, I, I don't even know if I could say it. But that is go to HelloFresh.com slash 18 sweet and use code 18 sweet for 18 free meals plus free shipping. I'm telling y'all, it's the best thing. You guys already know HelloFresh, it's America's number one meal kit. I, number one yeah it's and we this is the best advocates for it because we actually use this shit mm -hmm. we actually try it mm -hmm. every time the hello fresh every time if you're listening every time you guys send us this shit we use it yep top two not two you guys already know you already know back to the rest of this podcast do you yeah. see the fake uh i don't i don't it's not honest at all i think right what the little network thing that's on the internet of us they have, have you seen of, it? of us yeah no i haven't seen it i haven't seen it either. yeah you have I don't think so. I think Sweet it said our net worth was 130k for all of us combined. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's kind of low. Not <laughs> <laughs> it's low by a couple oh, milli. But oh, yeah, shit, there is. You see, what does it say? <laughs> How much does it say? Imagine Sweet Tea's a multi-million-dollar company. I would be like, yeah, fucking whoever wrote that shit owes us a couple milli. Then. Yeah. What about you? What was like one of your big reasons for quitting? I fucking hated it, dude. It was just because of that. I fucking hated it. I was tired and then going on the computer, edit, wake up early. I fucking hated it. Okay. I was actually not happy at all. Wait, I actually like, want people to answer in the fucking comments what they think's harder. Working at like a fast food spot, a busy fast food spot. They would never know. Or working with kids. They would know. Some people yeah. would know. Some, you think so? I, I think some yeah. people would know. Yeah, if you work at a fast food, busy as fuck. Or you work with kids for eight, six to eight hours. Where the kids are fucking day, Where they're bad demons. as hell. Yeah, because... Ooh, no, I would have had fun. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, Bro, you, you would have quit probably the first week, dog. No, I wouldn't. I would have kicked it with the kids. Bro, yeah, you he, flipped he, he, over a cart. <laughs> okay, but what's that have to do with kids? You could handle You it. can't dick around right there. You yeah. could play, like, outside. You no, can you do can't, homework can't, with can't, them later. Not during COVID. Yeah, not during COVID. You cannot go outside. Yeah. Right, we're playing inside the room. You can't even you can't, have them touch each other six four, feet apart. Four corners. Six feet apart. Everybody. And there's more than four kids. There, and all four there, kids can't go in the corner. 14 kids to one uh, adult. Mr. Lopez is going to come over. Around. You're going to need to play 14 corners <laughs> if you could find them. Wait, so if you if it <laughs> we'll was count the COVID, ones on top, too. If it wasn't during COVID, do you oh. think that it would have been easier? Way different. Because Danny was there before yeah. COVID, and, and he it, said it was, it was way different. Was it was a, fun, huh? Fucking chillest job ever. The field trips and shit? Yeah, during the summer. It was that's, lit. that's fucking sick. It was late oh, shit, there's an app. Nah, I'm on the fucker. But yeah, drop in the comments below. What's harder, a fast food restaurant or working with badass kids for six to eight hours? During COVID. I'm going bad ass kids. It's yeah. way harder. And we're ah. the only, we were the only facility in California, it felt like, that was open during COVID. <laughs> no, I think we were. That's what they said a little yeah. bit. Like, I don't understand how we were open. And they wanted to do it for the community. Fuck that. Everybody was getting sick and shit. Wait. Uh... <laughs> Tell a story about the fucking kid that didn't want to be there. So what he did. <clears throat> yeah, so there was this kid, and he didn't want to be there, but he was actually really smart. And he knew that they weren't going to call his mom just because he wanted to go home, so he shit himself. Smart. What was his face? Smart kid. Red ass face, smart. sweat dripping down his face. While he's shitting? He was going hard. And did it stink? He let it out. I just watched it happen. I don't <laughs> <laughs> and then what did you do? You said... Can we get him home? Yeah, yeah, I was like, hey, he just pooped himself. Yeah. Was it leaking down his shorts <laughs> And or they anything? were like, or what? They already knew. They were like, oh, I figured he was going to do that. Yeah. That's actually a smart-ass way to get out. And giving a cheeseburger to and then the going home is harder. And then going to your fucking mom, and then she has to wipe your ass when you get home every time. Fucked up shit. One of the workers... <sighs> I don't He's know. getting pissed at me. Right? Yeah, because some fucking homeless guy shit in the middle of our fucking restroom. Oh, that no restroom. Oh yeah, Logan. Fucking, and Logan like, said, hey. "I'm not gonna pick that up." Yeah, because because <laughs> he fucking comes in. He's like, "Hey, can I get uh, um, can you get me this or whatever?" And they're like, "No, you're over here asking for money. You're doing all this, blah blah, whatever." They they didn't want to give him what he wanted, and he goes, "Okay," and he fucking <laughs> puts his hand in his fucking pants, shits. Throws it on the ground and dips. <laughs> you saw this? I saw it happen. And they were like, Logan, pick it up. I said, fuck you. <laughs> you're the one that didn't want to give him what he wanted. What the fuck? You're picking that shit up. 
I would have said no to it. Hey, yeah. I ain't picking that shit. I, sh- I would have gave someone him. Someone picked up the caca. Oh, I felt bad. It was some Mexican lady that didn't speak any English. That <laughs> oh, I would have done Yeah. I, I felt bad. I felt so bad. She was really cool about it, though. <laughs> what were you about to say, though? My bad. Uh, I kind of forgot. Oh. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure if we want to put this in either. But there was a worker that worked there longer for me and Danny. Mm-hmm. And during COVID, they actually decreased her pay. Yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I remember you guys. Were they told her. Perfect. They told this. They told. She's an OG there. Yeah. They told that person that they were promising her a a raise. Raise. Because That's fucked been up. there. Fucking every kid knows who this person is. She's a very hard worker. They actually decreased the pay. It was that is, fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up. And you know what? She was struggling for a long time, and she would just move, like, check to check. And fucking, I remember one time, she fucking remembered she was cooking the hot dogs. Oh, shit. She, <laughs> poor lady, bro. Poor lady. Wait, why is it funny? She was cooking the hot dogs, boiling ass water. Big boiling, ass wieners. Boiling. <laughs> Boiling Sli- hot dog water slips up, the pan spills, and the water goes all over her Splash. foot. <laughs> Fucking burned foot. Like, ah. can't you can't walk and you can't move? Did she scream? And you should be able to get workers comp. But yeah, because it wasn't. I don't think it was her fault. I think they didn't tell her it was hot or some yeah. shit. Some shit. But she could have got out of it for sure. Yeah. And she could have been at home. Their asshole asses said, "Oh, we can't pay you because something." So she had to come in flip flops to work every but day. But that was against the workers' policy. Yeah, with the you, can't wear op- foot. you can't wear open toe shoes. But she wasn't getting paid if she wouldn't come to work. So That's she had fucked. To- and they said, "Well, we'll make an exception if you want to come in sandals." And she she didn't try like pushing it. Dick. That was her what job. What can you do right there? They don't right give there. a fuck. Uh, Dude, and we were telling her just quit, get fucking uh. EDD, get on unemployment. <laughs> you told her that too? Yeah. I told her <laughs> that too. And she was like, I don't know if it'll work out for me. Dude, that's fucking uh, sad. Hey, the coworkers, man, you built like a strong relationship. Yeah, with you do. Bit. Especially you when do. you hate the fucking management. Yes. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. Yeah. They got your back. Yeah. For sure. They definitely got your back. Sometimes they be backstabbing though, but. Yeah. Yeah, we'll to let rat that you go. out. We'll let that go. I used to fucking hate We'll let it go. Managers. We'll let it go. I noticed that whenever we go on a podcast, that when they ask us like our goals and stuff like that, like they praise us, but we never really feel like we did enough or do enough. <laughs> There's still a lot of the growth questions on like how we grew from the beginning of the year towards the end, mm-hmm. but fuck that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know what we were talking about before. What? You I'm- said we go on a lot of podcasts and yeah. uh, that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, you guys want to... I think we should answer yeah. that one. Yeah, let's answer, yeah, let's answer that one and then <clears throat> we'll move on. So, we do, we go, um, recently we've been going on different podcasts and stuff. And they always want to praise us for, like, how far we've came and, like, what we're doing now. But we never really, uh, give ourselves credit for shit. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Like, I don't know, like, do you guys ever, like sit back and appreciate it or not nah? yeah of course of yeah course. i think every time at least i've seen logan do it i've seen all you guys do it whenever we meet supporters whenever we talk to them on instagram live or send messages we always say thank you for mm-hmm. them supporting and we're never like oh we never call our people fans we call them supporters mm-hmm. so like it's because you guys support us. Yeah. And the reason why we don't really like take full accountability for whatever or we give ourselves flowers and applauses for what we've done is because I think we haven't got to where we want to be exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think another big thing for me is we look at like the other people that like we're surrounded by that are like influencers or whatever. And they're like 19, 18, like 20. Like they're like two, three, four years younger than us. And either they're close to where we are or they're above where we are or they're at we are. And like, I just feel like, like, nah, like we still have so much more to do. Yeah. Whereas to where some people are get capped out or whatever, like there's still a lot on the table for us and still some stuff we haven't done and we want to get to. And our 
our goals are just higher and higher and higher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like we do have some like very high goals mm-hmm. for us that we've had since the very start. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah. I think that's why. We just haven't got comfortable. Yeah. Well, we have before, but <laughs> never again. What about you, Joanne? Why do you think? Why we do that? Yeah. Because I feel like you're, you're like one that's like really big on that too. About what? Like when we answer it, um, let's say the question comes up with like, or the praise comes on a podcast or even, even like when we're just talking with friends, um, I feel like you're kind of like the same way, like, oh, like thanks, but like, you know, like, I don't know, we still have a lot more to do. Yeah, I think, I think that, I think basically what you guys were saying, I don't know, we kind of just feel like, like we should be up there, like, cause we, we can, we know we could do it. It's just time. Yeah, time and fucking work, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But wh- wh- where was I going? Because th- I'm looking for this one comment, actually, because this was from a very early episode, actually. And I wish I, I would have went back and listened to what we all said. But do you remember what you said, uh, what you guys might have said, our predictions where we thought we were going to be at this time of the year? Fuck. I think I had said 400,000 or 500,000 subs for Sweet Tea. And then for Sweet Talks, I probably said like 200K. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I'm not I, I don't remember. I think um, what I had saw, and that's what I'm looking for right now, I think maybe we had agreed upon it or somebody had said it, but I think we said 354,000 that we would be at. What? Yeah, something like that. Because they said, um, they said that we're on track, and we were at three fourteen at the time when they commented it, and um, we thought we we're gonna be at like three four three fifty, something like that. Damn. Like, so what are we at right now, like three fifty two. No, like three forty. Yeah, we're only at three forty. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why are we doing this damn podcast? We're at three forty two. Three four. Oh, I thought we were at three fifty two. Well, let's get to three. <laughs> Fuck me. Fucking fifty. So what? What are the goals then for next year? Personal, whatever. Fuck. I want a mill. I want a mill. I'm. I'm gonna reach for the fucking stars. Okay. I want a mill. I like that. I want I like a mill. That. I feel. I don't know why. I feel it. I feel like. I feel like it's gonna be a fucking mill next year. I. I just That's have year a, five. I. I. At have, what point do we start sounding stupid? At like year ten. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for. Hey, but it could happen. Shit, it could. It definitely could. Yeah, could I, I don't whenever. know. I just, I, I just feel like we've been working pretty hard, and I feel like we, we kindly, we finally found our groove for the YouTube channel, and I feel like the podcast, we're still kind of transitioning into more, um, you know, more like interesting topics, not just girls and all this other stuff, and I feel like once all everything comes together. We're just going to have that one fucking moment where it's like something goes viral and we're going to fucking like grab it by the throat and just start like raw dogging that shit. I like that. And, and, like and we're going to shoot to a mill. And I'm telling you guys right now, when we hit a mill, I'm going to fucking cry. No way. I think I'm going to cry. Damn, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Damn, oh. that, that. I like that, Logan. I'll reach for it too with you. You Fuck guys, it. you guys I'm don't dying. think like you guys will like tear yeah. up a little when we reach a mill. Nah, bro, we've been having this YouTube channel I for think, like four years. I think I I want a mill plaque. <laughs> yeah, millions. Oh, yeah, crazy. I need one of those for sure. I need a mill plaque. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's gonna be a fucking like it, best yeah. moment of my life. I want I want to hit a mill next year. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. I I'm, I'm hit down. A mill. <laughs> like we have. The <laughs> I'm down for that. Nah, I am. I am. I want to hit a mill. I want to hit a mill. Also, personally, for me, uh, something I like want to say and I want to speak into. Like, I want to get up every day and like do something more for the channel. Like, mm-hmm. get up and fucking either learn how to edit, learn how to help you guys more. Like, cause I catch myself a lot as of late too. Like, I just be wasting time. And I just need to do more. I I need to be on it. And I feel like when we're when we're all on the same page, like it's unstoppable. So mm-hmm. I feel like if we all get on that and we all are doing something, it it's 
it's a deadly ass combo for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the comment was actually from Monique, and it was from the episode Sweet Tea opens up about their personal lives, and it's just a reminder that this podcast was posted four weeks before I commented this, and y'all said the predictions would be to hit 354 in the upcoming year for the Sweet Tea YouTube channel. Y'all are already at 313. Just let that sink in. You guys are doing right by keeping consistent with the content we enjoy. Keep up the grind. It's only up from here. Y'all are absolute legends. Shout out to her. When So shout out Monique if you see this shit. When we first uh, made that podcast, we weren't even at 300,000, right? I'm not sure. We probably were, to be honest. Honestly, I don't think so. Yeah, because I think that was when the fucking Spider-Man clips went viral and we gained like 20,000 subs in like a month. I think it was that time. Remember, we were like at 294, and then the clip went fucking crazy viral, and then we skyrocketed up. Yeah. I want to say it was, it was that time. I don't know. I might be dumb. All right. I know you were loving the podcast, and I know my voice sounds like shit. It sounds actually sexy as fuck. But we got to take a little break because this episode is sponsored by Money App. If your money is currently in a traditional bank, earning little to no interest or, so, or stored in one of those so-called future of banking apps the truth is there is a better place to put your cash money app now offers an interest checking account with 3.25 percent apy on all balances there are no monthly fees and no minimum balance money app is also fdic insured up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars through evolve bank and trust wow i know none of you guys have that much money but hey it's good to know it's good to know now through january 15th Money app is giving away a total of $100,000 between 25 lucky winners in the triple your paycheck giveaway. That's actually nuts. That is a gang of money, actually. And here is how it works. You sign up for a money app account and every paycheck directly deposited into your money app account from today through January 15th has the chance to be tripled if you are selected to win. Damn. That, that's actually nuts. That is, that is sick. crazy. That, that is, is crazy. Sick. The more directly deposited paychecks that hit your account, the more you could win. Visit www.moneyapp slash sweet to sign up for Money App. I think you said a little too many I W's. Said, I said four W's. <laughs> <laughs> but that's www.money.app slash sweet. If approved, fund your account, enter the triple your paycheck giveaway, and start earning interest on your cash today with Money App 3.25% APY interest checking. No purchase, no purchase necessary. And also, guys, this is my this is my favorite part where I have to read it fast as fuck. Go ahead. Money App is a technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by Evolve Bank and Trust members at the ICA. Money App checking accounts has no fees and competitive 3.25% annual percentage yield on all balances. Visit Money App. Money money dot app slash sweet for entry and eligibility God details. damn, that's a hard word to say. Eligibility details. Each winner is capped at four thousand. Sweepstakes offered and managed by Product Services Inc. Not Evolve Bank and Trust. Thank you, and let's get back to this podcast. Peace. What about you, Lil Franker? What about me? What do you think? What's important to you? Yeah. Other than that, just my health, myself. Like I don't know. Like what? What like? What would you say motivates you? Like what do you like to do? I don't know really. It depends. I just like. I like money a lot. I like making like. I don't know if I gotta make something happen, I'll make it happen. So what do you want to do next year to improve yourself, to be able to make money for yourself? Whether it be like getting yourself on like a a stricter plan just, or or whatever, it de- it depends. It's just where I'm at. I just go with the flow sometimes, but sometimes it's just a lot of a lot of the guidance would would be coming from my dad a lot. He just pushes. Mm-hmm. It depends on what I'm doing though. You don't yeah. you you don't think like having like a set schedule would like help you? Yeah, of course. Do you ever, like, plan on, like, getting on one? Like, I'm saying where it's, like, every day I'm going to wake up at this time. I'm going to go to the, I don't know, let's say gym at this time. And then I'm going to do this from this to this time, this to this to this time. And then the rest of the time will be either for, like, hanging out with friends, girls, whatever. 
Yeah, it depends on what it is. They like. I mean, it's hard waking up early for me. Because I don't really. I don't know how to explain it. It's just. I do wake up early lately. Lately, yeah. I've been. Yeah, so, this past week, you've been really yeah, good at it. So. Yeah, whatever it flows. Yeah, I feel like when you. Because you've been. You were for a fucking like minute, like two months. You're going to bed. I w- we would wake up at like fucking six and you'd be like, I'll be hey, going. hey, and we're like, damn. I would up. take him to the gym sometimes at yeah. six. And you would go to bed That's like so at though. eight. Yeah. So like, ch- you know, trying to change your schedule from going to sleep at eight to fucking waking up at eight. It's not yeah. the easiest thing to do. Like, it's going to be fucking hard as fuck at first to do. And I don't know what time, though, it was when I was waking up when I was going to sleep. Like, because I don't know. There was actually a comment by Cecilia. I don't know why Frank caught me by surprise when he said that he went to Sunburst. I can't see him in a BDU or lasting in a military school. Damn. There's just nobody and not a lot of people can do that. Do you think that helped you at all? And I'm, I'm, I'm like asking you questions and shit because they yeah, actually did. They want you to talk. Yeah, I did. It pushed me a lot. In what way? Just like it like. It showed me more like. Do you think it was like be a more sense grateful. of order too? Yeah, it was great. It was more grateful, and also, yeah, I think over there I was more set scheduled over there too. You you were grateful for what? Just, I had a meal every day. Like I had like three meals a day, and it was just, I had a set schedule to wake up early. I was working out every day. Do you ever like uh maybe miss it for having that sense of order? Oh hell yeah, of course. But it's just at the end of the day, it's like it depends on your motivation and mm-hmm. it like where I would like uh, like really fuck like things up where things were went bad. It's just like I don't know. I slowed down when my Nino passed. Mm. That's when I really and then a couple of days later, I just I don't know. A couple of people have been catching things that I don't I can't control. You know. Yeah, so, not for you. It just slowed things down, like, I don't know. So, but, you know, when you let certain things go and make sacrifices, everything goes, like, way better. Like, uh-huh. I don't know. So, what what was the reason for, for like, the people that are listening? What was the reason for you going into, what, what would you consider that? So, uh, military school? Military school. I was just, um... I just saw my mom. I was fucking up a lot. I wasn't gonna like. I wasn't gonna graduate. Well, not that I have. I still haven't graduated. But it was more like I don't know. I just needed more discipline because I was being a fuck up. Yeah. Really. So, so just in short, it was just kind of like, you know, you're you're being bad and no discipline, none of that. So for maybe like somebody that's kind of going through like the same thing. Would you recommend for them to go into like military school or maybe con- like some some sort of uh program to up their discipline and to get that sense of order in their life? Yeah, of course, because it's just if you have problems at home or if that like that summer shit's dope. It was dope mm-hmm. because if people people that were there that didn't eat like every day, mm-hmm. they would just went there. But people that you can only go there if you have bad grades and shit. Mm-hmm. If you're fuck up, like really fuck mm-hmm. up. And it's never against your will, right? No, I no, no. You me that. Like I remember this girl, like too, when I was there. Like she started crying because, like, she had good grades as fuck, but she didn't fuck with home at all. Like, oh wow! And she was like, she was crying right there next to me, and she was looking at her dad and shit. Like, like she didn't want to go back home with him or some shit. Like, it was like a getaway for her yeah, to escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, well, you can't come. I'm sorry, honey. And she started bawling, crying. And I was just... Yeah. Damn. But other than that, like... If you, like... I don't know, man. And you can go until you're 18. So once you're 18... And then after that, you're on your own. You don't have to live with yeah, your parents. Yeah, thank God I went when I was 16, though. Yeah. Yeah, but... And also, my sister went, so I didn't want to look like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, my she went sister. before you? Yeah, she yeah. went right before me. And that was the, like, when you don't see nobody for a long time, you just feel more grateful, too. 
Yeah, I re- six months on your own. Yeah, I remember you left and we were we were fucking sad, and then we, we would get your letters and we were pretty happy about that. Julian mm-hmm. actually started crying. He's a liar. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't even write me back. That's I did. Funny. I told Julian Sunday you never did. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I never, never wrote me back. I wrote a nice letter. It was we a nice letter. His head. Yeah, we did shave his head. Yeah, you guys were happy that was. You guys enjoyed it while I was gonna while I cried before you. I left. <laughs> we did. It was right fun. before you left. I still got. That's a legendary ass picture of us. Yeah. For real, that was right before we. And shaved it was his head. fucking sucked too. I almost died before that day. Like not before, like two days before. Yeah, fucked up. That's when you did the Jack Daniels incident. Yeah. Have you know. ever talked about that incident, like, yeah, on a podcast? Has. Oh, he yeah. has. Yeah. Oh. I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's that's pretty fucked up. Damn. Do you guys think you guys took your mental health this year more serious or not? I just recently started. You just started with that? Like what specifically? I don't know. Just shit. Just toxic shit. Just a bunch of shit. And then like. Just Just not letting it bother you anymore? Yeah, not letting shit bother me anymore. And then going along with what other people are saying just look paying attention to positive more positive people and then i don't know i really let a lot of shit go this year that i don't know i thought i was gonna fucking be scared of like I, that i was gonna hold a grudge for certain shit but i don't know you just you just i don't know you lose faith in certain things and then I don't know. It's hard to get it back. But it's... I don't know. Would you say that, like, before you were, like, depressed? Like, did you ever feel like that at all? Nah. You've never felt like that? Uh Uh-uh. So it was just kind of more like you... You're like, okay, I have shit to deal with. Like, I need to deal with it. Mm Mm-hmm. It was just hard. Because you get, like, scared. Like, because I don't know. You just feel like people... Like the world's against you? Yeah, no, nah, you just feel like people, you lose people. And it hurts when you lose certain people in your life. Because you get, like, I don't know, you just get scared of losing other people. It's really hard. And, then, like, I mean, you got to wake up and push through shit. Like, not, guys are not going to put you through anything you can't go through. You can't get through, but, like, when it happens to multiple people, then it, it's hard. But I don't know. You guys just been positive. So, like, sometimes it's, like, it's easier said than done with mm-hmm. certain things like Danny said. But it's, like, I don't know. Uh, you get nervous with certain shit that comes around in your life. Like, it would suck to lose you guys. And I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like certain days, like when Vic came here, like, and he said, like, the the part went, like, you're scared to, like, kill yourself because mm-hmm. that shit's real. Like, that certain shit's real, but. And you don't know how the others around you would feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then at the same time, it, it helps you. That's when, like, God comes into play because then you think about the people around you and, like, how it would affect them, so. It wouldn't be the same after that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good that you think that way. And honestly, I don't I don't talk to you enough about it. But I wanna say that you you've done became a lot better person, bro. Mm-hmm. And you've like um if I mean, we don't like really talking about this, but me and Frank been through a lot of shit together. Yeah. Like, nobody knows and nobody sees it, but me and Frank off camera been a, through a lot of fucking shit together. And I, everybody asks me, whenever I go around someone new or someone that I haven't seen in a long time, everybody asks me, how are the boys doing? How's Frank? I always say, oh, he's doing good. He's doing good. Whatever. He's doing his shit. But my mom recently asked me about you. And then she's like, hey, how's Frank? Like, is he doing good? Is he doing better? And then I'm like, honestly, yeah, Frank is doing a lot fucking better. Like, he's coming around more. Not that you haven't been around because you live with me, but he's opening up a lot more to us. He's talking more. He's being more around and he's just being Frank again. So I just want to say that's fucking great of you, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. 
Uh, I I think the same thing. I think like, like you know, like <clears throat> I don't know when it was, but like earlier in the year, it was kind of like a little bit rough. But I feel like you know you're starting, like you got yourself together. You realized, okay, you know, there shit that has to be done, and you you've dealt with it in your own way, which is which is fucking amazing. And mm-hmm. and I feel like you know you're, you're still you're still dealing with it, but I feel like you're doing a much like you're handling it a lot better than the way that you were before yeah i felt like i was more mad Mm -hmm. a long time ago and and not only that also felt like you kind of um at times you would kind of like maybe like shut us away but i feel Mm -hmm. like now you kind of like uh embrace us like Mm -hmm. you come like you you know you come to us for to talk like there's been multiple times where i'll be in my room and then you'll just come and you'll just start fucking you'll start talking to me and we'll talk for like two three hours yeah and then fucking streams have been helping a lot too. Yeah, and and that's yeah. what I was so enjoying. I was like, I could I could really tell like this is something that like Frank really fucking enjoys doing. Yeah, like, like I, I, I like saw talk- like a fire a fire in you almost where it's like mm-hmm. I feel like this guy is gonna fucking be good at it. Like he's I could see this guy streaming for fucking eight hours a day when we're not filming. Mm-hmm. And and because I yeah. like I love talking to people, bro. Yeah, and it's you also cool. like playing video games. Oh fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That shit, that shit helps too. What about you, Joel? What? You're more asking the questions, but how have you took your mental health more serious this year? Uh, I think so for sure. Cause I fucking um, I used to be like one of those people. I don't even know if there's those type of people, but like to think like the mental health shit's like kind of fake. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Same. I just think that shit was kind of like fake. Like, oh fuck, you're feeling sad. Like, just push through it, bro. Like, yeah. do something. Like, stop being sad. Yeah, like just do something happy. But then there's times. There was times like this year or some shit where like maybe like stress or just like fucking overthinking about like, damn, bro, like, fuck, we're getting old or some shit, and fucking dude, like, like something needs to happen now. Like I'm a fucking big person. Like on like now, now, now type shit. Mm-hmm. And that shit will fuck you up. Yeah, it makes you feel like like shit. Yeah, it will fuck you up. If you keep thinking about, like, fucking the future, like, every fucking day, shit will fuck you up. It's so yeah. bad. It's bad to think like that. Yeah, and I was like that, like, fucking for a super long time until, like, you start taking it almost, like, day by day and kind of, like, I don't know, plan your next day and then plan your next day, plan your next day, plan your next day. And, like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Uh, I think you got better at it, too, because... Before, for a while, you would just, at least for me, like, you'd kind of, like, shut me out a little bit, and, like, I would invite you places, and, like, you'd be like, nah, I'm good, I'm good, and you would always want to be in the house, but now you're more like, oh, fuck it, I'm down to do this. Our bad, the cameras died, like they always fucking do, but we're going to take a little break from the growth, maybe. Let's do some suggestions that they want, and we'll just fly through these real quick because it's already been over an hour and stuff. Mm -hmm. People are tired and shit. Yeah. Arturo. Arturo Gonzalez said, Sweetie bitch, put me on a podcast. Would we ever consider putting supporters on a podcast? Yes. Yes. The one thing I'm worried about is them knowing where we live. (laughs) Why you think they're gonna do some fuck shit? They gotta come in a blindfold yeah. and drive here. <laughs> if you don't have True. a Tesla, don't come here. Because yeah. cause, cause imagine if like <laughs> somebody got a hold of our address and then they just leaked it out to everybody. Be over. And they start fucking with us. Maybe something. Yeah. You could just put Diego on. <laughs> oh no, for real. That would actually be a fun one with that yeah. fucking bomb ass tequila. For real. Or we could put on I thought you were Julian's talking about my brother. We, yeah, that, yeah. That's why, we could put I them too. My, I was like, what the tequila? <laughs> Damn, he drinks tequila. <laughs> Diego and Daniel. Yeah, that, that would actually be a fun yeah, podcast. Would, we should get yeah. them, though. If you guys don't know, Diego and Daniel, we we vlogged it. We went to Diego's birthday party. It's 21st. Yeah, and now we're they're pretty cool with us. So. Yeah, they're really dope. Yeah, they so, come to our house now and we chill with them. I, w- I work out with Diego. <laughs> I do like you how did? you guys. Yeah. He comes to the gym right here? Yeah, no, no, he doesn't. But when he doesn't have work, he'll come with me. Oh, sick. Yeah. I do like how they're DMing us a lot more now to be like, hey, pull up to my Quinta. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. We, all we that. actually need to hit one up. Yeah, we're going to yeah. do another one soon because. There's one that said, uh, my baby's having a baby. Or my, my girlfriend's <laughs> having. <laughs> my girlfriend's having a baby shower. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're supposed to be in the delivery room. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, for real? 
Yeah, there was one person wow. like that. <laughs> to watch their baby be hatched. That That's would be sick. fucking sick. <laughs> there's, I'll there's, pass out. <laughs> there's, actually, there's actually some supporters that want to fly out from Chicago. And they've never been drunk before. Yeah. That is sick. If like, you're going to invite it to our party, though, make sure we could drink with you. Yeah. I don't want to get <laughs> you in trouble. You guys, yeah. you guys better have a fun fucking family. If not, then I'm about to fucking yeah. punch some, your tío. Some tías and... And steal your tía. <laughs> we want to try these food. We like to drink. We like to have fun. So make sure it's going to be That should lake. be a shirt. I'm going to punch your tío and steal your tía. <laughs> That'd be a hard ass shirt. These fools should do some merch like that. But yeah, nah, we're, 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 we're patenting that. that. We're that. Yeah, so you take that. We fucking... We're so, you guys. Yasmin Delgado said, I think a Patreon would be interesting. It'd be funny to hear y'all's <laughs> crazy party or hookup stories. Is a Patreon in the picture at all for us right now? For sure. We have for a sure. shit ton of footage that we could put on a Patreon. Yeah, we do. Yeah, there's a lot of shit that doesn't make our YouTube. A yeah. lot of shit. And there's we could do lot. a lot of shit. Like that Vegas video that when we went for Frank's oh, birthday, yeah. bro. That's oh, shit. yeah. Y'all thought that was crazy? Imagine the shit that we didn't put in there. Yeah. You guys <laughs> I would got butt love ass it. naked. You oh, guys would dude. love it. Motherfuckers were butt naked on that swing thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys. The going, Patreon would going, be going fucking ass. Cock out. Going Going fast, dog. Going fast on that shit. <laughs> Cock out, ass out. It was butt funny. Out. Yeah. Jumping in the shower with each other. Uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, 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 that was a joke. Oh. No, but that was, <laughs> your cag was no. No. When I went on the thing? No, not the second time. <laughs> what do you mean the first time? When you went, the first time when you were like, Danny, I'm coming in. Yeah. <laughs> no, he did that <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. I was in boxers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's not get it twisted, y'all. <laughs> Go check that video. Uh, oh, you know that was funny. Maybe a Patreon. I think uh, finding maybe like a editor or some shit. An editor we can trust. Yeah, that that's the one thing. You never know. <laughs> yeah, for real. Cause Cause no one but, oh, no. sorry, bros. I forgot to blur this. To blur My cock's all out. <laughs> uh, See, just a fucking mushroom tip. <laughs> My fucking asshole's all out. Come on, dickhead. <laughs> dickhead. Oh Literally, God. dickhead. Hey, what about oh the no, real quick? What about that fool? <laughs> what about when? Not oh my God, just blur that yeah. out. Yeah. What about when? What? When he um had his head sticking out of his pants. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that was always funny. <laughs> yeah. This is another one. I think this one's dope too. This is from Alexandria. She said, hey, guys, I've never seen you guys do this before, but I think it would be awesome to get callers on. Like, if you wanted a girl's perspective, I would be so down. Oh, you know what? Man, I was actually call in. I was yeah, thinking about that. Like a radio. Ho. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Like that's a radio. Ho? I just thought about that today. <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be pretty sick. sick. Imagine we could do little raffles. Too, call in, call in, call in. <laughs> yeah, Caller <laughs> number seven. <laughs> so it's becoming a rap studio. <laughs> that would be fucking funny. Like, this, like Ryan's Roses. Like yeah. like Big Boy in the morning. Yeah. This one, I've heard Danny talk about this one. This one says, uh, um, uh, you guys are doing great. Love the new camera view now. I love the setup. Um, I love it when it's... You guys at times because you guys are a fucking vibe. You guys got this. Keep it going. Maybe do a question segment or questions on for you guys. Another cute idea would to be to bring one of your parents in. Get parent advice. Yeah, I said that before. Would we ever bring our parents in the podcast? I say. Seriously, dude. Was that me? I don't know. Dumbass. Nathan. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Uh, I say that would be funny. I think to, it would be funny to interview like our moms. <laughs> yeah, or like our our dads. I, I don't know if my dad would. Yeah, be I on don't. Camera. I don't know if my dad would be on camera. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know think, if our dads would. Yeah, be I don't think my dad would be on camera. But that would be a funny fucking part. Yeah, yeah. that'd be fucking comedy. But I, th I think our moms for sure would be. Our moms up, would be down. Fucking they would be funny. hyped. <laughs> they would be so hyped. I think bro. your mom would be hyped as fuck. Yeah, she'd be probably pretty hyped. And your mom. Yeah. They'd probably be mom, nervous yeah. at first. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think my mom would be nervous. I feel like she'll be fucking quiet as fuck at first. No. <laughs> she'll be quiet. And, and then and then she'll like, start embarrassing me. Like I dude, already know. Like my mom us. my mom will say some reckless yeah, shit. Yeah, our moms will embarrass us. All of our moms yeah. for sure. So maybe that's in the works. I'll yeah. start a problem. Let us know if you guys really want to <laughs> see. Get the that. fuck out of my house, mom, for real. <laughs> I ain't fucking playing with you. <laughs> Remember you said that to me? It's Do my I, turn to use the fucking belt, bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Still got that mark on me. Yeah. See this shit? You see this shit? <laughs> like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Where are you guys gonna take us to eat? <laughs> Remember, we have food at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got yeah. food at home. Yeah, yeah. You got food at home. Oh, don't you, you want fucking dinner? How about some cereal? Yeah. <laughs> My mom actually make said she would make she would make whatever we want over here. I know. I was I was there when you were on the phone I'm with her. Down oh, for yeah. that. That She'll bomb. make whatever you guys want. She cooks good. I like it when she cooks. What did she cook that one time? Steak. Huh? Yeah, we steak went? and asparagus yeah. and potatoes. Oh, that shit was bomb. I remember that. That was my first time having that. asparagus ever. You're like, I and swear on my life. Green. Huh? No, my fucking piss almost burned my eyebrows off. <laughs> 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 he was looking at the like, oh, day, <laughs> homie. Shut Thought up. I had chlamydia. How to get checked? There's so many more suggestions, but now we can go into maybe a little bit of the some of the guests we have we had on and like kind of what we think about them now. I think one that is pretty dope is AZ Chike. Yeah. True. What do you guys think about AZ Chike? I, I love that guy. I love how uh, genuine he is. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like it too. Yeah. He gets a little bit of hate, but you know. He doesn't deserve it. Yeah. Any, he's any a cool, he cool ass guy. He's a really cool ass guy. And actually, the time he performed for us, like that, that shit. That was crazy. He actually reached out to us and was like, dude, I'm down to do it. Let me pull mm-hmm. up. And nobody uh, charged nobody shit. And yeah. he, he makes some fucking bangers. Yeah. And yeah. he's oh, a dude. fucking even better person. Yeah. Like yeah. I feel he's like a genuine like person. And, he, and he stayed after for a little bit. Yeah, he came, he back came to over. The crib. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That, he that's did. some other Patreon shit. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That, that is some other oh, Patreon. Oh my god, we shit. have we so have, much shit. Footage, huh? Yeah, we we can't say what happened, but AZ Chike. Yeah, AZ Chike. That was lit. That show was lit. That's so far. I just remembered all that shit. I was all over the house. You know another per- I guess that I really like love? Other than like, you know, the fucking regulars that we have, like Nick and shit. Um, Duno. Oh, yeah. Duno. Oh, Duno so loved on our show, Dude, too. Dude, but like that fool isn't... Speaking about genuine people, that fool is like... He's like hooked us up with a lot. Dude, yeah. Duno, he continues to do a lot of shit He looks us. out. He looks, he looks out. out. Major. He looks out and he'll yeah. forever have my respect and, and love. If you guys don't know, Duno actually started like the influencer club events. He was like the first one. He was. Yeah. And we had told him last time too, after the podcast, like, um, uh, like how much we appreciated him because I remember him putting in a good word, but never telling us like shit about it. Like yeah. he just did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Like he and would that's just... why people started approaching us for the club because mm-hmm. of just the to help word. us out from him but yeah. he never said hey dude i put in a good word like trying to get points yeah, or some yeah. shit yeah he just let it like well, he did it he from his really heart do it just yeah. to do it mm-hmm. do you know if you see this we Shout love out you know so we love do know i love your big ass who would you <laughs> <laughs> who would you guys say was your favorite guest we had this past year favorite guest yeah oh, that's fucking hard okay favorite guests other than like the regulars because I, 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 I love having i love having nick, nick on I love having. I love Nick having. On. I I think the best duo that we had was Nick and Dune. Oh. That was that a was fun a banger. dude. Oh my gosh! That, that had was, me dying. That was a funny ass podcast. There's, also, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I also fuck. Um, these fools. I like these fools. Fuck these fools. <laughs> I also yeah. love these fools. There's just so many of you fools, man. Yeah, I was gonna say I liked the these fools. Um, I I wish we could get them separate. Maybe like groups of two yeah, yeah. two or one we should one. do that one day yeah to really yeah. like do get like six into episodes. their stories because yeah. it's way too hard with all them because yeah. yeah. we can ask all of them individual questions like where you like where you they oh, fuck the upbringing <laughs> and all that yeah, yeah. Who, who else who else has there been i need to so fuck i feel like we're missing a lot we had there is a lot Arthur, we had vit we had i know oh Sam i liked Leo. vit a lot too i would say vit was probably our best uh put together podcast mm-hmm. also too he was a fucking amazing ass guest yeah his story like it just flowed so well it was a fucking amazing story oh karen and eddie they're fucking fun sam zia sahar honestly all the um, guests sam i love sam. all of our guests sam sage. is loved. sage is funny yeah mm-hmm. sam is very loved on our um podcast too blessed pa- fabio pal santi and them santi yeah, uh, Julie okay. and Jalen are also very Jayco. Yeah, they are. 
We haven't got Ray yet, but a lot of people say they want Ray. We should just get Ray by himself. Yeah, yeah we should. We yeah, should. We I haven't that, seen or, Ray in a minute. You know Ray and Kev. You know what I love about Ray? That fool rocks the sweet tea hat. So does, I'm pretty so sure that Kev. hat is glued to his head. <laughs> he sleeps yeah. with that hat on. For real. He sleeps with that hat on. I haven't. That I hat literally, stinks. Oh, I literally saw him asleep with the hat over his eyes. <laughs> he has <laughs> a, he has curls adjusted thing. into it. So yeah. when he wears it, too. Oh, Kev Leo. I know. Who said Leo? Oh, I love having Leo on the Leo's Leo's funny. I love when we were singing with him the last time. Yeah, I love fucking telling that motherfucker scenarios and he just goes He's with it. He's fucking funny. He goes with the <laughs> flow. Dude, yeah. And we all, we don't give him prep. Yeah. We don't give Leo prep. Fuck like, hey, no. you know, you're going to do a fucking news anchor for us today. Uh-huh. It's like we hit the button and go ahead. All right. And he does uh, it. That's yeah. crazy how him and Duno, they're like the two like, you know, like actual like comedians. It's crazy how they just... just the jokes just come flying out just on the spot. And ass. I'm like, what the fuck? I got to think like four business days for a joke that barely hits. <laughs> yeah, we love all of our guests, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah big shout out to Sam Zia, too. Yeah, he was a well, he was We want to get guy. that motherfucker back on. He's funny, too. He is motherfucker funny. was shooting hoops on our fucking court <laughs> after. Like, what the fuck? Doing yeah. fadeaways and shit? <laughs> oh, old. He's like, I'm like, here. And, cool. then, and then we were talking for an hour with him about basketball. That fool's yeah. a basketball fanatic. Daniela yeah. Clark was a good one, but yeah. you guys weren't able yeah. to. Yeah. I wasn't in there. Man. I still rock them low rise jeans because of her now. Yeah. <laughs> Buying them all. Your ass does right look now. nice enough with your little jeans. butt crack sticking out. <laughs> we're supposed to go on her shit, but. Oh yeah, she's gonna get us on. Yeah, it's it's whatever day, um, you know, we can, she can. But do you guys want to conclude this episode? There is yeah. still a lot more, but I say we do a part two. We could do a part two. You know, we're gonna post this soon. So right before the year ends, we'll post our final thoughts on the year twenty twenty two. Yeah. Also, too, if there's any, um, actually, never mind. I'll say that shit next podcast. What? If there's any guests that you guys want for twenty twenty three, let us know so yeah. that we could start working on getting them right like this year right well, who's a, who's a dream guest right now maybe fucking somebody in the comments like, or like somebody doable knows them. doable or like just because like what drake <laughs> little baby okay, like kaylin probably kaylin that's a cool guess kaylin boo bugs for one of them too i, I say for me vinnie hacker really? vinnie's dope yeah i think he's fucking sick I oh think he's sick. or or um that's mine. I already know who you're going to say. Theo. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need mine. him. Bro, f- I'll pay someone a thousand dollars if they can get Theo. If, yeah. No. If you're related to him or in some type of way or bro, fucking know him some type I'll, of plug we'll way. fly him out. Bro. I don't give a fuck. We'll play for his hotel. You know You know who else I would <laughs> want is that guy. It's Tony Shervochi or whatever. He's the guy on TikTok who just does like very short content. They're like vines. And he he's always going viral. And people always use this shit for like sounds. I'll show you guys him after. You guys are going to be like, oh, funny. he's fucking, he's funny as fuck. No, I want, and I want, what's his name? Fulcrum. Oh, Fulcrum. Fulcrum <laughs> would be bad. Gang. Fulcrum come through. Fulcrum come in. I want to hotbox in this shit. Yeah, we are. Oh. Yeah. I would say maybe shit. Aiden would be cool on here. Oh, Aiden. Some Aiden. Kai. 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 Some more ladies yeah. too. Porn stars. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Strippers. Strippers, uh, strippers would, be would be cool. That'd be crazy. If oh you guys know God, a stripper. They got stories yeah. like a motherfucker. Let's yeah. get a stripper on here. They got crazy stories. Yeah. We could, we could get an OnlyFans girl for sure, but oh, let's get a stripper. Okay. Maybe her, uh, maybe one her that podcast works the has pole. to go on Patreon or some shit. I don't know. It works the cock, too. Yeah, and we'll start our <laughs> Patreon. Yep. She knows how to work everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, is stripping in a sport? No, it's a it's a job. But thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching this. Love podcast. you guys. Hope Make you guys sure to join. Drop those comments. Let's get more interactive on this. Yeah. Love you guys. Happy twenty twenty two. Peace. We'll see you next week. <laughs>